Are you looking for a tactical shooter that feels worse in every way from their counterparts on Steam? Are you looking for an experience where AI track and shoot you through walls and other objects? Do you want to spend $30 on yet another early access game that launched with too little content, a roadmap with no direction, and more assets than the marketplace even has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, I found the game for you. It's called Contain, a four-player co-op tactical FPS that just released into early access, and it's not very good. If you want to see the entire live stream, uncut, raw Big Fry experience, including a live impromptu interview with the founder of the studio, who I guess happened to be watching me roast the game for like two hours prior, you can watch the VOD on this channel, but I wanted to cut up my experience for you guys so you can see exactly what this game has to offer. This video won't include the interview as I wanted to keep it centered around my experience with the game itself. And as always, this is an early access title, so if you're finding this video two years from now, hey, things might have changed, so don't get fucking mad at me. At the current state, it's $30 for this. I'm a master of disguise, cloaking in the shadows, infiltrating the enemy. Yeah, he found me, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content just like this. My name is Big Fry, and this is Contain. All right. Oh, yeah, getting micro setters too. That's wild. On a 4080, 12900K. 64 gigs of RAM micro stutters in 2024, dude. Oh, that's oh, interesting. The running feels awful. So okay. you can you can ground branch it up, but it's not intuitive where you can actually like slide. But that is cool. That's a that's actually a dope option. We're gonna go with the red dot. That is nice that you have that option. I don't know why you would ever do something like this, but um fragmentation. Oh, interesting. Can I rotate? Oh god. Um, okay. This is actually an insane amount of customization. Yeah, uh, it's a little sensitive. It, 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 it's impressive. Um, not intuitive, but impressive for sure. So we got. It feels very jank, but it's cool. Yeah, it's like yeah, they they need to do a couple of passes on this for sure. But I mean, fuck me, we have PEQs. I wish I could just grab that and fucking slide it, um, and then. I gotta turn the other way. Like this is not intuitive at all, but cool feature, nonetheless. Okay. Oh yeah. What the? F oh god, that scared the shit out of me. Oh. That god. scared the fuck out of me. Okay, you got a suppressor on yours. Let's see here. I don't like. Do I hit? Oh, okay. If you oh if you hit scroll up, you go from low ready to to like high. Oh, I thought it would be T, but it's not. Oh, G has a little inspect animation. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Nice. Ooh. Hold on. Is this thumbnail material, chat? Oh, shit. Oh. Look at us. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Do you want to, like, try a mission? Okay, interaction. Okay, so we have, uh, looks like four missions. I hope they're long, because that doesn't seem like a lot for... 30 bucks, but we'll see. This mission is time sensitive. Before it reaches its final shape and explodes, the anomaly has to be stopped. Oh, okay. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You're finally awake. <laughs> All right, here we go. Da -na -na -na. Software dev, thank you for the two British pounds. Game looks worth $9.99 at best, $4.99 on sale. Well, let's see how long these missions are. Four missions doesn't seem like a lot. Also, I don't know how, but I'm in a point fire. Uh, like, I'm not looking through my site anymore. Oh, uh, hmm. How did you do that? I don't know. I just aimed. Now I'm... Does it look cool, though? It, it looks really cool. Well, now I want to try. Hold on. I'm looking at controls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> controls. Oh, middle mouse button. Middle mouse button? Oh, yep. yep. Dope. All right, oh, yeah. chat, we're super tactical now. All right, let's do this. <laughs> let's try it. Why does this map remind me of something? It reminds me of every asset that you could purchase on the marketplace. I've already spotted several. All right, I'm on you six. We have to find the fallen soldiers. Grab their data pads. Secure the anomaly in front of you. Oh, fuck. What, nice. the, what the fuck was that? Oh, we have someone direct. Direct front, direct I see. Front. I see. Watch left. Let's circle around left side. What the fuck is? 
Where's this place? There's cubes in the sky. What the fuck? Where are we? Oh! I think I... I see an anomaly! Oh, right, right. There we go. Or is it an early access game? I can't tell. <laughs> I'm gonna run straight into it. <laughs> Flo, where'd you go? Are you dead? Yeah, I oh, ran right Oh, into fuck, it. it's coming to me! Are you dead? Can you come back? Uh, no, I'm dead, dead. I lost Flo. <sighs> Checking the... Oh, God! Checking the interior. Oh, fuck, they just know where I'm at. Where the fuck did he come from? Okay. Whoa, this is the world's best flashlight. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, it goes through all every wall. Oh, you can see it from over here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, okay. Oh, I'm dead. No, blow. Oh, I'm dead too, Jesus. So, yeah, they just track you through walls. I see what people are saying about that. Mm -hmm. uh, they just know where you're at at all times. Real yeah, quick. yeah, yeah. Heal, heal. I got your corner. Oh, yeah, that does heal you. What okay. the fuck was that? What? My guy just R6 like fucking lean peeked me. Okay, I don't feel comfortable leaving this corner. These guys are deadly as fuck. There you go. Dude, I'm almost fucking dead too. Cover me. Yeah, hold H. Yep, there you go. I'm healing. Yeah, I got the data core. Oh, nice. <sighs> reloading, reloading. Wait, why are... What the fuck? What happened? I'm dead. <laughs> Can I like revive you? Just fucking kill me! Where'd he go? All right, I'm part of their team now. Move, move, move. We gotta find them. We have to secure these data cores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm part of, I'm part of them now. I'm a master of disguise. Cloaking in the shadows. Infiltrating the enemy. Oh, fuck! Yeah, he found me! Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Buddy broke his spine to shoot me. What the hell? <laughs> All right, bet. Can I spawn now? What's going on? My guy's just caesaring on the ground. Yep. Same. <laughs> What is going on? Cool. I, I was slowly dying. Longest death sequence <laughs> yeah, ever. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's try another mission. Okay. So we see something new. Yeah, uh, the shipping containers can fuck off for a while. I'll say this. This game feels like it's been built on just very terrible foundation, but they got some good ideas. And I, I don't know how to explain it other than that. Fry the base here is very similar to Trepang 2's. Disagree, dude. Trepang 2 feels a million times better. I don't know why I'm watching a Big Fry stream at 1.30 a.m. Go to bed! This, uh, this vibe looks a little cooler, I think. Oh, look at the sun, dude. Or is that the moon? Or is that the anomaly? I don't fucking know what the story is. All right, where, where do we go? I don't know, I but I, I like that you're whispering a little bit. It gets me immersed. Oh, do you see that in the distance? What is that? Oh my God, it's Christmas. Oh God, looks like Santa came early and so did I. Find the event horizon stabilizer. Locate and collect the EHS. Okay. I'm going to pretend like I know what that means. I'm guessing the event horizon stabilizer is above the supermarket over there. Yep, there, there is something in this warehouse. Oh. Oh, God. Down the street, down the street, mid, going to mid, behind the Humvees. Oh, oh, left side, left side. Oh, and right. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. One dead. I'm not seeing left. Yeah, he was over past, uh, over here, yeah. Push up, push up, push up. Oh, yep. Right in the middle of the supermarket parking lot. There we go. There's one to the left of the supermarket now behind the white minivan. There's another one right in the middle. Got him. I think I got the one behind the minivan. I hear more shots. We don't have the ability to vault, do we? Yes, if we can't jump in this, huh? Okay, I can't go this way. I'm going to clear minivan. Like I said, oh, is that you pushing up? Okay. Yep, yep, that was me. Okay. I think minivan is clear. Are you inside supermarket? Yep, just clearing it. We're clear. Oh, there's a back room. 
Why did everyone just start shooting? Yeah, what are they shooting at? They're shooting at us? They, they have to be, yeah. Oh, watch this door, watch this oh, door. Oh yeah, they are shooting. Yeah, they're just shooting at us through walls. Alright, hold on, hold on. He went to the right, yeah? Yep. What the fuck, AI? I found the EHS. It's just floating. Got right you. Here. Got you. Killed one outside. You want me to grab it? Yeah, grab it and go. I think there's one yep. to the left past his dumpster. I can't tell, though. There's bullets flying yep. in, but... I'm going to go out and clear right. All right, I'll clear left. Right's clear. Oh, my God. No, it's not. What the fuck is happening here? I'm hurt. Oh, to your left, to your left. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm dead. Dude, they move so fucking quick, dude. Ah! Fuck you, Ghastly! Oh, extract? Is that ETD? Okay. Oh, I can't go out this way? Jesus, fuck. Yeah, this game is not that good. Oh, my God. There's one to your left. Nice. Bro, he scared the living fuck out of me. But it's weird that he didn't even know I was here. Like, it's like, oh god, the sway. Okay, now these AI are fucking brain dead, and that guy's just shooting through walls. What the fuck is this? It's like once they're triggered, they're triggered. I'm seeing what is going on, dude. Yeah, fuck this game, man. The AI just literally can track you through walls. Ass! This game fucking sucks! Alright, let's restart. Let's try it again. It feels like an- you know how when I play asset flips and it's a bunch of, like, blueprints all slapped together and you can feel that disconnect? This feels like that, but I'm not quite sure what's all assets and blueprints and pre-purchased and made from scratch. I don't know. So I'm not calling it an asset flip, but it, it feels... Like the same kind of disconnect that asset flips normally have. Standard issue Hummer, what do you want, a decal on it or something? No, what I want is them to take a little bit of time to make two assets that are placed right next to each other a little bit different. The yeah, map design is super is. fucking lazy. You know, it, like it over here, check thing. this out. Over here looks great. Police car, ambulance, you know, you got some, you got some different, you got the fences, different houses, different, like it'd be, it'd be the same thing as like if these houses were the exact same color. You know, this one's white, this one's a little green. It's just a different aesthetic. Then you turn over here, and it just throws me off. Again, nitpicky shit. But, like, there's three, like, in a short vicinity, and it's just like, can you make them different or throw something different in here? Make one of these a Jeep instead of a Humvee? Like, but to be fair, the asset usage is the least of their worries, you know? Where are those shots coming from? Oh, I don't know, but I'm getting fucked up. Dude, they're, yeah, they're just like aiming at us through fucking objects, bro. Like, I'm gonna move around that left. Uh, instead of going through the supermarket, let's move around left and see if we can come in from the back. Yep. If that's even an option. Dude, what the fuck kind of? Oh my god. Can't shoot through the windows. Cool. There we go. He's dead. The guy's inside. Oh, you triggered. Can, you could double tap R to fast reload. Oh, dope. That's see, like, they got some good ideas. I can't pay 30 for this? Oh, I wouldn't, dude. I, I wouldn't at all, bro. Absolutely not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay five. Is this a demo? This is a $30 game, Doku. 30! Like, visually, I don't think the game looks that bad. I'm gonna go off right side. Yeah. Oh, I just heard somebody <laughs> fart. What the fuck was that? That's what I heard, too. What was that? <laughs> that was the big laser on the mountain. That, like, was, a, that hitting... was legit them recording a fart. Oh, 100%. That was a fucking <laughs> fart. I know a fart when I see one or when I hear one. I'm in front of you still. I see you in the backyard. I'm yeah. Oh, there's just an invisible wall here. So, yeah, I'm, it's I'm dude. You. No, you oh, can't yeah, you can't, can't get around there. What the fuck is this? Yeah, the map design's terrible, too. I'm going to roast them on that because these are all fucking art assets and it should not be this fucking linear in a game like this you can't even move around a house what's the point because like when i'm moving around here like I, I i know what you guys are thinking you can see like this doesn't look that bad but y'all gotta feel it holy fuck dude that guy's still light. shooting at me back there fuck off right, oh the stutters i went down to i'm at i went down to 18 fps there i'm at 30 now what happened oh damn 
you know, one thing I will say, like, at least they got co-op working, and it, it, it feel like, I haven't seen you, like, desync or lag. Oh, do you oh, think ladders work? Oh, guy in front, guy in front. Ooh, I nice. doubt ladders work. That's definitely an asset ladder. Yeah, no, it doesn't. You, you, you know what? You can always tell by the by how spaced out the rungs are. Yeah. Because <laughs> it, it was not built for this <laughs> game. <laughs> Reloading. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, behind you, to your left. I'm dead, I'm dead. Aw, oh, fuck. Nice, you got it. There's something off to the left, I just can't fucking see. Oh, fuck. Oh, <sighs> oh. This fucking game, dude. First level, I haven't seen it yet. Have a look at this. And then let's go to our options. Let's take the graphics, graphics quality. Let's take it to medium and then save and let's see what happens. So at medium, I'm getting 80 FPS. That's a, that's a significant difference. And you know what? For whatever reason, it kind of feels a little bit more clear. Am I weird if I say that medium looks better than Epic? I, I, I kind of agree with you. Like when I turn this shit on Epic... It's got a, it's got like a brightness, like haze to it that actually makes the game look lower resolution than it is. This, this takes the haze out. So it makes it darker. And that's probably why you're able to not spot, you know, just how kind of bad some of the textures are. But I actually think I would rather run this on medium. Oh, I can't run up here. See, this is the kind of, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about when it comes to like blueprints. Or, or uh, sorry, a assets, like art assets. I guarantee that's an art asset. And, like, they just didn't make it accessible. But I guess you couldn't get in there anyway. It's just fucking stupid, you know? Their level design is fucking trash. Oh, my God. Relax. Riveting. Am I even doing damage to this thing? Like, I can't tell, you know? Or am I just... Okay. It's gonna fuck me up if I walk by. Oh, and then he just comes around the corner. Yeah, man, I don't know, dude. One thing you'll see me say, like, multiple times during the stream is, like, the game has some solid features and ideas. The, the gun customization, the actual player movement itself, even though it feels a little bit disconnected, they have point shooting, they have scopes, they have lean, and it works. But I think their level design is is some of the worst that I've seen in, in quite a long time, even from an indie perspective. And what doesn't make sense to me is... They, it's all assets. Now, I'm not even gonna roast them on the assets because I think that's the least of their concerns, but what they did with them is just kind of lay them out in such a linear fashion that like you sometimes can't even move around a vehicle 360 degrees. They'll have blockades up to force you to go to the right of this Jeep and then to the left of this house. And if you try to go around the house 360 degrees, there's volume blockers that stop you from doing it for whatever reason. So my thing is like, if they're using assets to kind of cut that dev time down, a lot more time could have been spent actually designing well-built maps is kind of my thought process, but we don't see that here. And on top of it, we only have four maps to choose from. And some of the objectives when you jump in and reload a map, they might change around location a little bit. So you get a little bit of replayability here, but honestly, you're not gonna wanna play this game that much uh, a quick run through of each map and you've pretty much seen everything there is to see here on the live stream we also had a discussion about pricing in which i said i i've been trying to avoid the discussion around pricing a little bit more often recently and that's simply because it's so subjective nowadays man there's there's millionaires who will jump in and look at this and be like oh what's 30 dollars right fuck it we're gonna buy it who cares and then there's guys who are trying to penny pinch and figure out if games are actually good and worth their time or not and they wouldn't pick this up even if it was free and like if it was me 
not even to do with penny pinching, not even to do like I'm doing pretty well. I wouldn't pay for this game if I wasn't a content creator reviewing and discussing it. There's not enough there for me to even be like, yo, if they put this at like a 75% off sale, you should pick it up. Clearly, everybody's value is different. Right now, I just don't think the game is worth the time commitment that it would take to actually play the game because it's just not enjoyable. A lot of people are saying in my chat that it, you know, it'll take about a year to get this to a solid foundation. Honestly, like they haven't given me a reason to think that it's going to be ever in a solid foundation. So right now it's kind of like a, well, I, I would give it a year and see what they do from now until that year point. And if they actually put some real effort in, they could turn it into something. But the same could be said for every developer ever. We just kind of have to wait and see. So right now, I would say, if you're looking at this and you're wondering if it's worth the money, I would say no. But again, that's super subjective. There are people out there that might think it, it is worth it and they might get, you know, 10 to 12 hours out of it and think that it was great. I personally struggled to play this for two hours and that's just me. Let me know what you guys think down below. I appreciate y'all watching. Check out the whole VOD if you want to get my full, like, uncut opinion on everything and come through to the live streams when we do them. I don't really have a set schedule right now because I'm just trying to stream more when I want to instead of just being like, I'm here four days a week even if I don't want to be there. I'm trying to have more fun, trying to bring you guys experiences on the live show that you actually want to see. And this is one of them. So I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for clicking on the video and I'll see you on the next one.